वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंड ऑफ फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ आर्म प्रोसेसर वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू पाइपलाइनिंग ऑफ आर्म सेवन माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स आर्म सेवन सपोर्ट्स थ्री स्टेज पाइप लाइनिंग फर्स्ट स्टेज इज पैच सेकेंड इज डी कोड एंड थर्ड इज एग्जीक्यूट लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ दैट इज हैपनिंग सी फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ फर्स्ट इंस्ट्रक्शन दैट इज गेटिंग फैच नेक्स्ट टू इंस्ट्रक्शन विल बी दैर इन क्यू सो वैन फर्स्ट इंस्ट्रक्शन दैट विल गेट डिकोडेड आफ्टर फैच सेकेंड इंस्ट्रक्शन विल गेट फैच एंड वैन फर्स्ट इंस्ट्रक्शन दैट विल गेट एग्जीक्यूटेड एट ए टाइम सेकेंड इंस्ट्रक्शन विल गेट डिकोडेड एंड थर्ड इंस्ट्रक्शन दैट विल गेट फैच सो हियर पैरल एग्जीक्यूशन दैट इज हैपनिंग विथ आर्म सेवन here my dear students you should understand because of parallel execution you will be having faster execution of program how that will happen let us try to understand that step by step so my dear students without pipelining you will be observing execution will be slower why the reason is for instruction 1 as if you have fetch decode and execute after that instruction 2 will come with which again fetch decode execute will happen and then third instruction will be having fetch decode execute and that will keeps on repeating for instructions here i am just giving you example of five instructions so how many machine cycles are required over here five instructions into three stages means in total 15 machine cycles are there now when we talk about arm 7 in that we will be having execution in parallel so here you see when we have fetch decode execute of first instruction in parallel when decode is happening at that time second instruction will get fetch right and when execute is happening at that time third instruction will get fetch so you can observe here parallel execution is happening that is what three stage pipeline for arm 7 so here if you observe how many machine cycles are required for execution so here number of instructions plus 2 so here for five instructions you can say in total seven machine cycles are required for execution of this program right so compared to this non pipelining here this execution is very fast right here you can say almost it is three times faster compared to normal execution but my dear students there are few issues even like as if branch instruction is coming at that time we need to discard the pipeline see for example as if you execute instruction 3 which is branch in that case you will have to discard the data which is there with fetch of 4 decode of 4 as well as fetch of 5 right and here my dear students from here onwards you will have to fetch instruction 4 again so this many machine cycles that will get discarded during branch as if branch is happening with instruction 3 but still it will be faster compared to non pipeline structure right here now my dear students you should have this question like how it is possible that fetch decode and execute all are having same time interval see as if it is having same time interval then only you can have pipeline structure right as if you just think about this execution is having larger time compared to d3 in that case you cannot have parallel execution as if all these stages are having equal time period then only you can have pipeline structure so that is happening because of arm 7 structure you need to understand first how arm 7 structure is there here my dear students if you observe am 7 in that when you fetch the instruction then you should know all the instruction size that is there with 32 bits so fixed size instructions are there so as size of instruction is fixed you will be observing fetching time period that is constant right it is not taking multiple machine cycles it will be taking constant time period only why the reason is all the instructions of am 7 is having same size and that is of 32 bits right and when you execute instructions with respect to memory location at that time all those 32 bits those are stored in aligned location so by single machine cycle only we can fetch all those 32 bits of data 
Aligned memory location means what, my dear students? For example, instruction 1 is stored at 0 memory location. Then, with 32 bits, you will be having 4 bytes. So, 0 is having first byte. Then, 1, 2, 3, that is how 4 bytes will be there. Now, next memory location will be 4. So, super multiple of 4, that is how memory location will be there. Super multiple of 4 means what? 0, 4, 8, 16, 20, 24, that is how memory locations will be there with instructions. So, that is referred as aligned memory location. So, in single machine cycle, we can fetch instructions, right? As if you see decode operation of ARM7, then here we have hardwire decode, right? And because of we are having hardwire decode circuit, it will take only single machine cycle to decode the instruction. And once we decode that, we'll be having execution unit in which you'll be having arithmetic and logic unit or MAC unit, multiply and accumulate unit. And by having this, we'll be executing instruction in a single machine cycle. So here, my dear students, you just need to have one machine cycle for fetch, decode and execute. That's why with ARM7, we can have that execution in parallel, right? Here, my dear students, you should know ARM7 has load and store architecture. So here, we are having separate instructions for load as well as for store. And as we are having separate instructions for load and store, you don't need to worry about time period of fetch, decode and execute. It will be fixed only. As if you have common instruction for load and store, in that case, there is a possibility, but ARM does not support common instruction for load and store. Here, you'll have to load the data first in memory and that will be uh, taken inside register first. After that only, you will be operating with resistors and once operation is completed by other instruction, you'll have to store that onto memory, right? So here, separate instructions will get executed for load and for store operation. So you don't need to worry about this time period of fetch, decode and execute. It will be fixed. It will take only one machine cycle. Here, my dear students, ARM7 that is supporting three stage pipelining. So you will be observing program counter that will always points two instructions ahead of the one being executed now, right? It will be always two instructions ahead. Why the reason is here we have three stage pipeline, right? And here advantage that you can say it is fast in execution, but disadvantage is there regarding branch instruction execution. As if branch is coming, then you will have to discard the redundant data. As I have told you, for example, as if instruction two that is having branch, then what will happen? As instruction 2 is having branch, here you see fetch 3, decode 3 and fetch 4. This many data that should get discarded, right? So when branch is coming at that time, you will have to remove this data as it becomes invalid. Here, my dear students, you should know few more things regarding ARM pipelining like ARM7 that is having three stage pipeline, but when it comes to pipeline of ARM9, then that is of five stages. And that is also having single machine cycle only. But along with fetch, decode, execute, you will be performing two more stages. Those are memory write and register write. So in memory write, my dear students, you will be writing data of register onto memory. And in register write, you will be writing data of memory inside register. Right. So that is how two more stages are added in ARM9 and with ARM10, it is using six stage pipeline in which after fetch issue is there. Issue means now when you have higher level pipeline compared to three stage, my dear students, there is a possibility of data conflict. So to remove data conflict issues here, first of all, we need to check whether data conflict may be there or not. So that checking will require issue stage over here. And once it is issued, you can go for that execution of pipeline in parallel and you will be observing that execution will happen in parallel as six stage. You can have way far better performance compared to three stage and five stage. 
सो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू टाइम आम हैव इवॉल्ड एंड दे हैव प्रोवाइडेड विट मोर हायर लेवल पाइप लाइनिंग बट few basics that you need to understand for that only i have made this video i hope it is clear to you how three stage pipeline that has been executed by am7 still if any confusion is there just post that in comment box i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video